at Adobe Premiere Rush. Um, once you have Rush open, you're going to press Create New Project. Um, this is where you're going to import your files. So you can do them from your desktop, downloads. You can browse the internet. Adobe even has some sample media that you can work with if you're just practicing. Um, I am on a laptop, so mine files are on my desktop. They are in this folder. Um, if you are on a desktop or laptop, you can click your files and add them all at once like this. Um, if you're on a phone or tablet, you're going to have to add them one by one. You can click your files in whatever order you want, rearrange them however you want. Um, the order that you add them in is the order that they're going to show up on your timeline when it gets into Rush. So it's going to take a second for it to load. Once all of your files are in Rush, you can um, see the timeline and the clean layout that Adobe gives us. Um, so this is your playhead and you can move this around wherever this is at is what is going to be shown on your monitor. Um, you can scroll left or right on your keypad to move the timeline. You can zoom in and out on your keypad to also move the timeline. Um, to move the playhead, you can press this pause and play button or you can just press your space bar on your keypad and it'll pause and play the video. Um, so these controls down here mainly deal with your timeline and how to edit your clips and your timeline and these clips over here are more editing things like audio, color, transitions, things like that. So right now we're going to go through more of our timeline stuff. We're going to cut clips, um, make them shorter or longer, however we want. So to cut a clip, you select the clip you want. Um, wherever the top, the playhead is at is where it's going to cut it. So let's say I want to cut it right here in the middle. I use my scissor icon. And let's say I want the first half cut. Do the, Click the first half. Um, click the trash can. Or I can simply cut this one. Press delete on my keypad. So right now... I'm just going through each clip, deleting the ones I want. I actually know that I don't want this clip, so I'm just going to press delete the whole thing. Um, I know I want this clip a little bit shorter, so I'm going to cut this one. I want the first half of that one cut. Um, so, yeah, just like going through each clip, you know, cutting out unnecessary things that you don't really want, making each one shorter. Um, this right here is the final length of your video, so... You can kind of see where your time's at and that. Um, so yeah, just going through the clips, pressing the space bar. <clears throat> to shorten or extend the clip, you're going to have the clip selected. Here we have this yellow icon and you just drag in or you drag out and that shortens or extends the clip. Um, to add audio... We are going to go over here to the top right. This is our audio panel. Um, you're going to click the clip that you want selected. And right here, you can simply lower or maximize the volume. Um, or you can completely mute. Um, for these videos, I'm actually going to mute all of them because there's some wind blowing in the background. And there's just no need for any of my natural audio to be in there. So I would go through mute all of them. Um, to add music, we're going to go over here to the top left, add this plus button, and you can add anything, but right now we're going to add audio. So right here we see all the samples that Adobe gives us. Um, you can search keywords to kind of figure out what you're looking for. Um, here's this sound. I'm going to add it. So we can see that this is added. We're going to close this out to make it a little bigger. So it's completely added to my whole video. Um, obviously, it made my video a little longer because that's how long the song is. But I'm actually just going to click on the audio with my playhead. Do the same thing we do with the clips. Click the scissors. I don't want the back end of it. So I'm going to delete it. So now we're back on 
38 seconds where I wanted my video to be. Um, to edit the colors of your videos, we're going to click the clip, go over here to the color panel, and we can see the presets that Adobe already gives us. Um, they have a ton of filters that you can pick from. Um, you can also do your own preset. So go to edit um, right here. You can obviously edit however you want, um, make it look how you want. And then you're going to go up to these three dots and you're going to press create preset, um, title this and press save and then go back to presets scroll to the bottom and here you'll see the presets right there so um that is dealing with color um to look at transitions we're going to go over here to the transition panel and they have also have a lot of presets for transitions um so what you do is you grab the transition you want Add it right in the middle of your clip on your timeline. Drag it over there. And we're going to watch it. This is a dissolved transition. So we see that it dissolved. You can also, we'll add this black one right here. So if you click on the transition within your timeline, you can actually make the duration of it longer. So we can make it longer or you can type in the seconds. However we want it long, um, press the space bar, kind of see what we're dealing with here. We hear our music, and there's our transition right there. So I would go through, I would add a transition probably between each clip, you know, make it however long or short you want it, and go to the beginning, watch your video, just go through, press space bar, keep pausing and playing, and figuring out exactly how you want your video done. So.